Okay. As you can see, I look like shit. I look like shit because I've been held hostage now for three weeks. They keep trying to tell me that I'm not being a hostage. They've got me under orders. It's hostage because, as you all know, I followed the declaration of war. I'm now a prisoner of war and I'm being held hostage. I was kidnapped from out front of the library at um, Kaikaui and dragged to a police station where for eight hours I ended up asking to speak to my lawyer most of the time and trying to get my cell phone working. They dragged me from the police sta to the police station because they were interfering with the phone call that I was having with the Vodafone crowd. That is a separate tale by itself, but in short, I spent well over five hours trying to get them to fix my phone, spoke through nine operators, and by the time I finally got slammed into here, which was all on the 13th of February, they had done nothing. When I rang Vodafone, eventually when these people would let me near the phone, because they won't let me have my stuff for over a week, and then they'll tell me after a week that, oh, the police have lost my cell phone. Meanwhile, stabbing me with drugs that I don't need, threatening me, blackmailing me, threatening me yet again. I managed to get hold of Vodafone to find out, oh, it took them eight days to repair the damage done to my phone through their system because their system wasn't working. And I said, well, that's fine. You have to replace my card and everything else, which they said they would. They've done that now, but it still doesn't change the fact that because of them, I'm in here. The people in here, you've got different patients for different things, which is understandable. But you've also got people who you explain to them, which is the staff, certain things in simple, plain English, and they've got their fingers stuck in their ears. And then you end up shouting at them because they're not understanding what you told them the first three times. And then they say, oh, you're sick because you're shouting at them. You're getting sicker and sicker because you're shouting at people again. You shout at people because they don't fucking listen. When they finally do listen, you don't need to shout anymore. You don't need drugs for that. You don't need drugs because you live in a different lifestyle to where everybody else, although some use drugs for the different lifestyle. And the end result is basically I'm still being abused, still being treated like shit, still being ignored. And to top it off, I'm stuck in here and I'm running the risk of now losing my house. And we all know why I run the risk of losing my house because one, when stalkers still chase after me when they can find me, usually break in and they off with shit if they can find out where my house is. Or two, again, the winds will stop my fucking money, which is why I ended up in the car for two and a half fucking years. So either way, I'm still fucked over, I'm still ripped off, and New Zealand is still a toxic shithole.